know, people often ask me about doing work at home, whether they should or shouldn't. And I think it's a very important element in the practice that you have to, you know, find a kind of independence of work, you know, and by sitting at home and working 20 minutes, maybe in the morning, you know, maybe another 20 minutes in the evening, no more, you know, it's enough. It gives you, you know, a, con a continuance of doing the inner work. And at first, you know, I found when I first had to do that, when I studied with Rudy, it was very difficult. I could probably sit for five minutes. My mind was really active. It wasn't the same kind of energy there is in the meditation class when we have it, whether it's in person or online. And, uh, but, you know, the repetition, the continuance of doing it, you know, over a period of maybe a week or two, the mind started getting quiet. And I started getting more focused and I started really, you know, being able to sit in my apartment, you know, without and to do the inner work. And then I was able to carry that openness into the meditation class with Rudy. And it allowed the class to go much deeper inside me, you know, because I was truly practicing and working on myself, both in the meditation and on my own. So I always suggest for people, you know, sit down for 20 minutes, find a time every day. You know, it's good if it's the same time every day, you know, and just have a picture of a teacher and sit down and do the work. As a reminder, and then through doing that work, you can bring a, a deeper sense of surrender and openness into these classes where the energy is very, very strong. And you can take that into yourself and enable it to help you grow. And what does it amount to? You know, 20 minutes in the morning or 20 minutes in the evening before you go to sleep. Uh, it's not gonna eat up a great deal of anybody's time to do that. And yet at the same time, it'll provide uh, a continuance of inner work that will make your chakra system a lot stronger. So I suggest that. I People ask me all the time, should I work at home? Yes. It's very important to find the time of the day that you can really sit and do your meditation. And as I said, it doesn't consume a great deal of anybody's time. It's 20 minutes. With that openness, you can bring to these classes and it'll really help you go much deeper in the classes. And you can't expect the energy to be as strong when you're sitting on your own or this in one of these classes. There's a lot of people here. And uh, the energy gets very powerful. So you can't, oh, well, you know, it's much stronger in the meditation. I don't have to do it. It's, you know, it's doing it so that you can create continuance of effort. And you also can learn how to work on your own. Does anyone have a question they would like to ask? Stuart, it's Paula. Um, I'm so grateful. I wanted to ask about the energy and it feels so grounding and weighted and all of my cares and concerns vanished and there's just well-being, a sensation of well-being. And sounds great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure what my question is, but it's this amazing energy, this centeredness, this... Well, you know, look, Paul, I've been doing this a really long time. I mean, the energy wasn't this strong when I first started teaching. The energy wasn't this mature. It didn't have this depth. It also didn't have the 
kind of spiritual understanding that's in the classes today. You know, I didn't talk about how important it is to build a chakra system because that gives you the capacity to connect with higher energy in the universe. I didn't talk about that being the key element in having a spiritual life. I knew about it, but it didn't go deep enough inside me to make it into something so pragmatic that it becomes clear and very, you know, conscionable for people to understand this. So the energy is very deep. It's very profound until often when new students come, it's too much for them, you know, to deal with. And people, you know, they disappear, you know, because it's, it's very powerful, you know, but the, the strength of the energy is just a reminder to all of us, we have to grow. It's not something that you run away from. It's better to have, it was better for me to have a teacher like Rudy than somebody that taught Hatha yoga. And his energy was so powerful, as I've said many times, I would go sit with him and I would feel like I was burnt into a crisp. But I, would, I said to myself, Stuart, it's better to have this because it's a constant reminder that you've got to grow, you've got to open inside, you've got to go deeper inside. You have to build a chakra system that's strong enough to absorb the power of energy of somebody like Rudy or the kind of energy that's transmitted through me, you know? Well, most people are not ready for that, you know? It's, it kind of scares them a little bit, but you said it, it's, it just, you know, it, what it does is that's so important. It grounds the metaphysical. It brings it down to a practical, pragmatic way of living that doesn't eliminate the metaphysical. It just gives it roots and it gives it that kind of strength that enables one to tap into the metaphysical and to be able to absorb that Shakti, that energy and allow it you know, to help build a system that gets stronger and stronger inside us. I mean, that's basically the purpose of all of this. It's the purpose of the meditation. The meditation is not a spiritual life. The meditation is a way of building a system inside yourself that will enable you to have a spiritual life. Because a spiritual life is 24 hours a day. It's life. <laughs> I mean, I'm sitting here in this class today with so much gratitude, you know, because I saw this vision of the entire world being created in front of me all of life being created in front of me. And I can witness this. I can not witness it, but experience this as that energy flows through. So in order to do that, I need to be grounded because that energy is so strong that it could it just knock you right off your whatever, you know? So you need to be grounded. And the first Thing taught in this meditation is bring your attention to the chakra below the navel. The mind is a surgical instrument that will open you at the very core of your being. If the very core of your being is open, you will build an inner life that is strong enough to be able to sit there and witness all of creation manifesting around you. Thank you so much for these profound truths, Stuart. I feel them in my very core. I'm so grateful for the words you just expressed. Well, you're welcome, Paula. Thank you for asking the question. Does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? So I've said it many times, you know, Genesis is not something that happened, you know, 500 million years ago whenever they say it happened, it's something that's going on every moment. Every moment of our life, you know, we are in the midst of, right at the center of all of creation, coming into life. You know, and the mastery of the mind, the mastery of the emotions, the mastery of sexual energy, the mastery of all of that tension inside us, 
once we can master it and transform it into chi, into shakti, into energy that flows through the chakra system, understand we are living in the moment. We are living at the center of creation. We become truly a child of God. And it takes nothing away from our lives. It just makes everything richer. The people in our lives become dearer because we see them in a more profound way. You know, all of life becomes so much richer. It becomes our teacher. So it gets richer and deeper and we bow to it. We respect it. We, you know, Like, you know, in the Jewish religion, they have a prayer for everything. You know, it's amazing. When I was younger, I never understood that. Now I understand that. Everything is sacred. Does anyone else have a question? I hope this is all clear, you know. I try to make the metaphysical, the arcane, the spiritual into something practical that can be used by everyone every day of their lives. And to me, that's what enlightenment is all about. Enlightenment is some esoteric thing where you sit on some sokol somewhere in the universe and you know, and everybody worships you. You know, that's, no, it's just a very practical way of living your life every day. And being a child of God in the world and experiencing the world that way. Does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? Okay, just so that you all know, you know, I mean, people are here from all over the world, but I, uh, there'll be no class next Sunday because next weekend I'm having a retreat. So I won't be able to teach, you know, the meditation on Sunday, either the evening meditation or this day meditation. Well, you know, people in Israel, it's the evening, you know, so there'll be no class next Sunday. There will be a class on Tuesday and Thursday. So God bless you all and thank you. Thank you for being in my life and thank you for coming to these classes. And I just have a lot of gratitude for what goes on here and what I'm learning, really being in the presence of all of you. So God bless you all. And, uh, hopefully I'll see you all on Tuesday. Thank you, dear Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. You're welcome.